Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to Billy the Dad. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Billy, dad of eight kids, an old retired senior chief. Um, a few weeks ago, I decided that I wasn't in as good of fit, uh, physical shape as I should be and needed to get back to uh, the kind of fitness I should have. Um, so I started this, uh, this daily video uh, to share with you how I'm getting back into shape um, with just the basics of good diet and exercise. Um, and the hardest part is just showing up every day. 90% is just showing up. And we do that by helping each other out with accountability. Um, what I call our core group. You are my virtual core group. And I appreciate you each day um, checking in to see how I'm doing and holding me accountable. I hope this helps you. Hope you've got a core group. Hope you got some people that are helping you. Um, this morning I worked out with my, my real core group, my kids. Um, and we had a Friday fun day. Every Friday is fun day, and we do something a little extra special uh, on Friday. Yesterday's video was a little bit long. I shared with you something, uh, kind of went a little, a little deeper there, uh, four levels deep into uh, just an idea of just um, reaching out and connecting to other humans and, and how we do that and how we should be doing that in a positive way. Uh, so today we'll, we'll get back to a little bit more practical. Uh, we're going to talk about next week. Next week, I, I mentioned before, we're going to start with a seven-week training plan. This is the uh, SWAT selection training plan. I'm not trying out for a SWAT team or anything, but it's a good plan. Um, it's a good, uh, just a little less than two months of, of working out, um, and it's a full-body workout. Uh, the plan comes from uh, Mountain Tactical Institute. Um, I'll, I'll put a, a little picture up there. I think it'll be up on that corner there. Um, I'll put that up there and, and you can see the Mountain Tactile Institute. This particular plan is uh, $99. I purchased it a few years ago um, and, and have used it um, a couple of times. I've gone all the way through the plan about three times now. Um, and each time I do, it gets me back into a, a higher level of fitness. So we're going to see where we can go. It's a uh, this is version one that I'm going to use. They actually have version two. If you go on, on online and purchase now, you'll be on version two. A little bit different. It's six days a week. Uh, the original version was five days a week. And then I throw onto that just a long run um, on Saturdays. I think they call for uh, a rock march. Um, I'm not doing any rocking. Uh, I, I want to work on my running. So I'm a little bit more of a runner than a, a heavy lift guy. Um, so I'm going to do the uh, do just do a long run on Saturdays and continue the what, what we've been doing already on Saturdays. Um, but five days a week, it's going to use more equipment. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know the last uh, several weeks I did a six week um, training plan, a basic training plan using just body weight fitness. Um, the only really equipment was your running shoes and a pull up bar, um, and uh, everything was uh, very very minimal equipment. And that was designed to show you um, how much improvement you can make. With the, with the most basic, simple equipment. It, it doesn't require a big, fancy gym. It doesn't require uh, an expensive coach. Uh, it requires showing up every day. 90% is just showing up. Um, so that's what we did for six weeks. But now I want to step it up a notch and see if we can't, in seven weeks, um, turn Billy the dad into Billy the bad asparagus, um, as, as my kids would say. Uh, we try to keep the show kid-friendly. Uh, so in seven weeks, we'll see how we do, how how we can do. Uh, we'll be using a barbell and bumper plates, or, or the the rack behind us, uh, as well as some kettlebells, um, a heavy bag, an 80-pound bag, body armor or, or weight vest, and medicine balls. Uh, we'll be using uh, uh, typical equipment you'd see like at a CrossFit gym. Uh, most gyms probably have the kettlebells and medicine balls as well. Um, if you have a home gym, I recommend outfitting it. I showed you a couple days ago, I showed you what I have in my home gym. And um, it, really not super expensive. Um, it, it could be a lot if, you, if you're starting from scratch. Anyway, that's what we'll be doing the next couple of weeks. We're going to have baseline uh, for uh, a couple of the workouts next week, we'll be establishing a baseline uh, for certain events. And not, let me just share with you what events we're going to be measuring. We'll measure them at the very beginning, and then we'll measure them again at the end of the seven weeks to see how much we've improved. Um, and, and I think that's important for us. It's, it, it helps our accountability. Uh, if you're working out just by yourself, if I didn't have uh, Billy the dad, if I wasn't working out with my kids and I needed to get in shape, one way to be accountable is just to be accountable to myself and document what I'm doing, where am I right now, what's my baseline now, go for several weeks and then document again and then I can see, oh, I have improved um, or I haven't, so I need to step it up. That's one way to hold ourselves accountable. So I'm going to do that doubly, holding myself accountable while also sharing my scores with you so you can see, hey, here's what happens if you do this for seven weeks. If you're faithful and you're consistent at it, here's what you actually can accomplish. And that's, I'm sort of 
I'm using myself as a guinea pig for you to see what can happen. So we're gonna start out, um, the vent will have uh, maximum pull-ups, that's dead hang pull-ups, we'll see the maximum we can do. We'll have one minute max reps for sit-ups, which we did for our basic um, training plan, one minute max reps of push-ups, then we're gonna do our one rep max for a box jump. This is something I added into the training, into this training plan. It, it wasn't initially in this um, training plan, um, but I like box jumps for whatever reason, and I, I wanna see how high I can go. Um, so our one rep max, one highest you can do on a box jump. But we're gonna see where we are next week, and then we'll see how much we can improve that. And then there's an exercise called the Devil Dog Assessment. Um, which would be a shuttle run, carrying weights and stuff. That's a Marine Corps thing um, that they incorporated into, into this training plan. I'll, I'll demonstrate that for you next week so you see what that looks like. Um, it usually takes two or three minutes to do. Um, it's a high-intensity interval training uh, exercise. Um, the Devil Dog Assessment. Um, you could probably Google it and see it. Then we'll have a mile and a half runtime. For our basic plan, we had a one mile runtime. We're going to bump that up to a mile and a half. A mile and a half, I've said before, is that's, a, that's kind of a standard distance. I know the Navy runs a mile and a half. I believe the Air Force does. I think the Army runs two miles, unless they've changed it more in the last couple of years. Um, the FBI runs a mile and a half. It, 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 and a lot of the SWAT teams for their, for their um, fitness test run a mile and a half. It's just kind of a standard distance. It's long enough to be a challenge, long enough to separate the runners from the lifters. Um, so we'll do that. Then we're going to add a little bit of strength. We're going to have our one, one rep max for a front squat. So the, the heaviest that you can lift doing a, a good form front squat. One rep max for our bench press. And then our maximum reps of 25 pound um, weighted pull-ups, 25 pound weighted pull-ups, our maximum reps. And then we're going to go for our longest distance. That'll be our Saturday run. Um, that's not actually in the SWAT training plan, uh, but that's something that I wanna do. So we'll see um, next Saturday, uh, we'll see what, what kind of distance I do and see how, how much we in, can increase that distance in seven weeks. So that's it. Um, 14, just changed my numbers. It should be, it should be 10, 10 different exercises, 10 different exercises that we're going to do. Um, we'll measure that and see our improvement in seven weeks. I'll share the beginning and the end, and we'll go from there. So that's coming up next week. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday is our long run, long run day. Um, and we'll have a special feature tomorrow. You'll see that tomorrow, and we, I hope to continue that for the next few weeks, uh, this special feature. So um, show up tomorrow and see what that's about. Workout, workout for today. We start uh, again, today was Friday fun day. So we start out with four rounds. We ran 100 meters, then five burpees and a pigeon stretch. That was our warm up. four rounds, run 100 meters, five burpees and a pigeon stretch. Then uh, we did 60 meters prone to sprint. Started flat on our stomach, hands off the ground, sprinted 60 meters and then jog back. We did that with a minute timer. Um, if you wanna use um, on the channel, um, go back several um, episodes and there is actually a timer on there, a, a six round, one minute, six by one minute timer. And you just hit start, it'll give you a countdown and then it'll give you a buzzer on the minute for six minutes if you wanna use that. Um, that's there for you for you to use. Uh, six rounds on the minute, 60 meter sprint, prone to, sp prone to sprint. Then we went to a 20 meter shuttle run. The 20 meter shuttle run was six rounds. In each round, you would run down and back. So that's 20 meters, 20 meters. Again, down and back, down and back. Then pick up your kettlebells and farmer carry down and back, down and back. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80 meters. And then set down the kettlebells and again, slick, run down and back, down and back. That, and then start your timer for two minutes rest. Six rounds of that. Each round, two times down and back, slick, two times down and back uh, farmer carry, two times down and back slick again, and then two minute rest, six rounds of that. Finally, we finished up with a one mile medicine ball run. One mile medicine ball run. A couple ways to do this. If you're going by yourself, grab your medicine ball and run a mile, easy. Um, I took a 25 pound medicine ball and ran four laps around the track. My kids had an eight pound medicine ball. There were four of them and they shared it with each other. So sort of a 
uh, a handoff they ran as a group and then just pass the ball from one to the other. They would each run for several meters, maybe a couple hundred meters, and then pass it off to the other one. Four rounds, don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. So I told them at the beginning, if anybody drops the ball, we're adding a lap. And sure enough, they were all chatty, um, arguing about who's going to carry it, how are you going to carry it, and somebody dropped the ball. So we added a lap, and we all ran it. So I, I ran about a mile and a quarter um, with the medicine ball. So fun, uh, Friday fun day, make it fun. Uh, get with your core group. Those core groups help you be accountable. It's so important for us to connect with other humans, to connect with each other, to build each other up, strengthen each other, sharpen one another. So important to this. Thanks for joining me at Billy the Dad. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, special feature tomorrow. Um, and I hope this is a help to you. Like it, share it, comment. Let me know what helps you. Let me know what I can do uh, to make this even better for you. Um, I want this to be a benefit for others. Thanks for joining me at Billy the Dad.